Eight years ago, I got a phone call from my sister, telling me our mom was critically ill, that I should hurry home to my parents' town. When I got to the hospital, they were wheeling my mom into the operating theater. The half an hour late, the surgeon opened the small window of the operating theater and told me, "There's nothing we can do. The cancer cells has already spread." As I sat my mom's hospital bed with my whole family, she held my hand tightly, and said, "Find a nice girl and marry her. My greatest worry is for you." At that time, I wasn't ready to tell her that I am not attracted to girls. I just told her, my life as a single person was fine. But she said. If you are single, what will happen to you when you are old? Who will take care of you? She always used to tell me, a home is not a home without a woman. It was too late to share my real identity with my mom, so this has become my lifelong regret. So I determined to not make the same mistake again. I didn't want to. Have any more regrets? Because I love and care my dad very much, I didn't want to lie to him. I really want to tell I'm gay. So I invited my dad to spend the Chinese New Year with me. I remember feel sick with lovers and with butterflies in my stomach. I got myself together. And I told him my real life. I was gay. My dad spent there, quite listening, without saying a word. When I explain, when I finished explaining everything to him, I asked him, "Dad, do you have any question for me?" He looked at me, and said, "I'm only worried about what will happen to you when you are old." All old folks get sick. Who will take care of you? I told him I had a lot of friends. We can take care of each other. Then he did not see anything else. He stood up, and used the restroom. Then he opened the small, opened the, push open the door and asked me, "What would you like to have for dinner?" <laughs> I will cook. Right now, gay people all over China are facing the same challenge that I had, of coming out to family members. In China, parents and family play a strong role in society. There is a strong emphasis on family dignity. Having a gay child is seen as shameful. As you probably know, in China, many parents have only one child, whom they expected. To continue the family line, and half the population live in the rural areas, which particularly conservative. Because of my personal experience, have not able to share my real life with my mom. Those became deep regrets. So I realize that there are so many gays in China spend the whole lives in the closet. They feel forced to act and live like the street people. In 2007, some friends of mine told me an organization in America, which doing the, some amazing work to helping parents accept their LGBT kids. The organization called P Flag, which means parents, friends, families of lesbian gays. Then it hit me: Why couldn't I can had,、uh, set up an organization like this? In June 2008, working together with a mother, I became who accepted her gay son. I became a co-founder of P Flag in China. We want to find parents who not only accept their LGBT kids, but also willing to stand up, fight gay rights publicly. We want to invite those pioneering parents to tell the other parents and. Family members 
about their gay sons or gay daughters. We want them to break the taboo and explain how there are LGBT kids are just as normal as other ordinary person. We organize meetings and invite both the parents and the LGBT kids. Then they can share their stories openly and frankly with each other. Just recently, we had over 200 parents and their LGBT kids to come to a meeting in Shanghai. We also organize workshops, training workshops. Then parents can learn more about LGBT issues. And we also run telephone helplines. Let me share three more stories, some of the people we were working with. Uh, a mother in this picture called Xiaoli Mama. She's from the southwest city of Chongqing. She's a school teacher. Two years ago, when her doctor came out, she thought the sky had fallen in. She won't break up the relationship between her daughter and her girlfriend. She went to a fortune teller who told her that her daughter lead, that to cure her daughter, she lead to change the direction of grave stones of her ancestors. She also went to see a counselor, an unlicensed psychologist, who told her that her daughter needs electric shock treatment and a virgin therapy. When Xiaoli Mama heard the words electric shock treatment, she left in a hurry. Then her daughter persuaded her to come to a PFLAG meeting. I remember seeing her sitting next to her daughter in the back row, right near the exit. She looking really depressed. But amazingly, at the end of the meeting, she came up to me and said, I want to do something too. Then Xiaoli Mama started to come to PFLAG training, uh, training days. Now she started to talk to students at universities. She also taken part in the Hong Kong Pride Parade. From now from being a parent of a gay child who leads electric shock treatment, she has become a representative of PFLAG in her city helping the local parents. Here's a 93 years old grandma from Fuzhou, an eastern part of China. When her grandson came out to the family members, the mom and dad couldn't accept him at first. But she said, I saw my son grow up. He's a good kid. We should support him so he can have a happy life. She even made a video clip and sent it to people like China, openly supporting her grandson, hoping one day China will legalize marriage for LGBT people. This young guy, Afeng, uh, was about to get married when he came to a people like meeting. He was fear seriously depressed about the future. At the meeting, he heard some stories from the wives of the gay men. This convinced him to contact with his fiancé and break off the engagement. One week late, he finally told his mom. She cried a lot. But in the end, she accepted who he really was. He brought her to PFLAG annual conference. She stood up and talked to the other parents publicly. If my son told me earlier, I wouldn't push him to get married. She said, his happiness is good enough for me. Today, China has more and more strong parents like Xiaoli Mama, who went from accepting their LGBT kids and standing up to talking to the other parents so they can do the same. There are a lot more and more parents accepting their LGBT kids, but there are more grandparents too. Just 15 years ago, in 2001, the psychiatric profession in China stopped categorizing homosexuality as a disease. 
in recently, the social situation has changed a lot. But our surveys show nearly over two thirds of LGBT people are still planning on having sexual, heterosexual marriage, concerning their true sexual orientation from their partners and family members. About 5% of LGBT people have thoughts killing themselves because the family rejection, loss on marriage equality, and line discrimination is so far away. There's a lot of to do. We not only change society by changing laws, the way we can really change society is by changing hearts, family by family, dad by dad, mom by mom. Thank you.